You can see throughout this poison oak and coyote bush those same kind of reddish clumps. Now the reddish clumps, the really red things behind are grapes in my neighbor's vineyard, so you don't have to be careful of those. But everything that's interspersed with the coyote bush here, next to the white blossoming plants that look reddish, all poison oak. This is as far up that hill as I'm going to go because see all these little baby poison oaks that are here? I really do not want to run into them as I would try to plow through and get to their parents. Here it is right in the middle of some star thistle. Nice little baby clump. And then you can see just all these little babies up there. On the way up to what I told you were the parent plants. You can see it here in the old dried, whatever those are, kind of weeds. Another one there. And then you can see all the way up, it's all poison oak. Everything you can see, and those were those brown clumps, those reddish brown clumps that we saw from farther down the hill. And it looks as though the roots have just made more little patches which make more little poison oak plants, which make more little patches. The, the roots will sprout if they're in the ground. The other way that they get spread is when the birds eat the berries and the seeds do not go through the bird's digestive tract. Well, I should say they do go through it whole. And so the birds will also be planting these. But I would guess these are probably planted by neighboring plants or by the tractor, which was plowing all this stuff under last year, and they have finally spread. And boy, has it spread. Now I'd like to show you this baby oak so you can contrast it with the poison oak. Here's another baby oak and another baby oak. So now I know where the acorns from this oak tree I'm standing under went to. Contrast, here's the baby poison oak. Just so you can see how different they are than the little oaks that we saw in the last couple of screens. We're going to head up to that big clump that you see right in front of us. Now that is extremely hard to get to to confirm and let you get close-ups of the leaves. And I'm not positive whether that thing that looks kind of dead in the middle is poison oak or not, but I can guarantee you that the clumps on either side of that thing that looks dead back next to where there's a fence is poison oak. And I did go up there and take a picture of it yesterday that was mostly long twig branches coming out with some of the greenery on top. Because the top part that gets to the light is what grows the leaves. They've got to have the photosynthesis, which means sun. And then under that, you see coyote bush at different stages of its growth. You have the green plants, the young ones, and then you have the old ones that are blooming at this season. It's kind of pretty when it blooms, but the rest of the year it's a real pain in the neck. Now we're moving in very close to that poison oak. And you can see the color of the leaf a little bit better. And you can see how the back of this one, that tall one in the back, not the trees behind it, but the right in front of one of those trees, is the stem standing straight up, which is typical of what they do when they lose their leaves. You can see the bees are all over this coyote bush. If you listen, you'll hear them buzzing. Just follow this coyote bush up through the shade as we're going up 
to see the poison oak. Okay, this is that clump of poison oak we were looking at from the bottom. And again, you can see the mossy stems all the way down where you're not going to have the leaves, but you see, you see a little bit of greenery there in amongst it. And then the biggest leaves, the biggest leaves are toward the top where it gets sun. If you run across a clump like something like this, even if it's got moss and lichens all over it, they're not afraid of poison oak. I'm afraid of poison oak and I don't want to touch this little guy that's sticking out right next to me. So I hope by now you've seen about all the seasons that I can show you of poison oak except when they've totally lost their leaves and that's what these here have done. So when you see any of these things be careful you might not even want to get close enough to count the leaves. Once you have the experience to kind of know what it even looks like from afar, just stay away.